uh, talk about revolutions, talking about uh, demonstrations. Uh, Iran, we've been talking a lot about Iran in the last few weeks. Uh, Iranian demonstrations, uh, as far as I can tell, continue. They have not abated. Uh, the regime is struggling to figure out what to do about them. They are, interestingly enough, resisting going all out mass murder. Uh, it, you know, uh, it was uh, 13, 14 years ago when there were demonstrations. Uh, they killed 1,500 people in a very short period of time and crushed them. They have not killed, as far as we can tell, anywhere near that number. Uh, as of now, which suggests that there must be some resistance within the, within the regime to going all out military force. Um, so uh, so it's, it is interesting that there is kind of a stalemate over there, that the regime has not uh, brought out the tanks into the streets. They're not mowing down people yet, although they are mowing down selectively, but they're not doing it uh, systematically. And the demonstrations are just continuing. It is also interesting that the Iranian soccer team and the World Cup feels brazen enough to actually not sing the national anthem um, in the first game. Uh, the second game, uh, they were seen singing it kind of reluctantly and softly. I think they were threatened uh, if they didn't. Uh, it is also interesting, and, and here's a thumbs up to the American Football uh, Soccer Association or whoever's responsible for this. But uh, the United States has, uh, has started in advertising, it's, uh, it, it's in the same um, bracket as Iran, and it's actually going to play Iran either today or tomorrow, I can't remember. Anyway, it's in the same bracket. So uh, the U.S. soccer is constantly advertising the game, U.S.-Iran, that's coming up. When showing Iran in the bracket or in advertising the game, they have taken the Islamist symbol from the Iranian flag. They've excluded it. So the flag is the flag just of the colors without the Islamist symbol in, in, in the middle, which is basically an attack on the Islamist regime in Iran. Now, who would have thought that the American Soccer Association would be that courageous and that brave? I mean, that is truly stunning and truly amazing of the Americans. So whoever uh, there in the Soccer Association responsible for this, big thumbs up, uh, you know, huge kudos uh, you know, and, and uh, it's a terrific move. As I said, these little moral support, actions of moral support, uh, make a difference, make a difference. Um, and uh, so they just took out the symbol. Uh, hopefully the United States will crush Iran in the, in the game. Uh, again, symbolically, in the name of the demonstrators. But moral support, the Biden administration, uh, I don't know, uh, sanctioned three individuals from different cities in Iran where they have uh, been particularly oppressive in terms of the protests. I, I don't understand these selective sanctions. I mean, sanction everybody. And, and just, just, just don't, uh, you know, make it clear. Why are we allowing them to come for the UN and to, to UN meetings? Why are we these Iranian monsters? They should be banned from all flights to the United States. I mean... The United States could take much stronger measures than it has, but no administration has ever done that. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's continue supporting the Iranian women. Let's continue supporting them. Uh, interestingly enough, the Qataris, who, as I think I told you, are basically allies of Iran, the Qataris are banning, uh, and where the United States has a huge presence, military presence, but the Qataris have banned demonstrations against the Iranian regime. So uh, uh, people with shirts, uh, women, freedom, something, um, the, the, you know, people with shirts are, are, are forced to take them off. If they come with banners or any kind of, any kind of signs or anything like that, they're confiscated. Uh, so the Qataris are doing everything they can to make these games uh, non offensive to their uh, ally, uh, the Iranians. Um, there's also been a call by many supporters of Iran to kick uh, the U.S. out of the World Cup. The idea is that a country cannot disparage another country during the World Cup, uh, that can't disparage its politics or whatever. And, and this idea of, of showing the Iranian flag without the Islamist symbol is, uh, is viewed as disparaging. And therefore, on Twitter, you can go on Twitter and you can find all these people calling for kicking the U.S. out of the World Cup. I, I've not seen any attempt by FIFA to do that. So, but kudos to the Americans. 
for, for doing something like that, even though it's a small little step, um, it matters. These things matter. So, yes, uh, we continue to support Iran. I'm continuing to be excited about the demonstrations there. Uh, I continue to be hopeful about their success. Again, I think it's a long shot because the, 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 there's, they need somebody from the inside to, make, to help make the change. Um, but you never know what will spark. Uh, more violence, some people getting killed, uh, hanging of some of these protesters. Something could spark these things to just explode and, and lead to a real revolution. So, uh, you know, we could, you know, we can, uh, we can hope that that actually happens. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.